Multiplication, the long method. The parts of a long multiplication. In the long multiplication method, the number on the top is called the multiplicands. The number by which it is multiplied, that is, the number at the bottom, is called the multiplier. So we have the multiplicands, the multiplier, the partial product, in this case is 63 times 7, the partial product number 2, which is 63 times 40, and the final product or answer. Multiplication is split into columns. Here we've split the columns into thousands, hundreds, tens and units. Draw the line between your columns to make sure you put your numbers in the correct place. 1. Write the two numbers, one below each other, in their right thousands, hundreds, tens and units columns. Write the bigger number on top and the multiplication sign on the left. Draw a line below the numbers. 2. Multiply the units digit, or the ones digit, of the top number by the units digit, or ones digit, of the bottom number and write the product as shown. 3. Multiply the tens digit of the top number by the units digit of the bottom number. This is our first partial product, which we got by multiplying the top number by the units digit of the bottom number. 4. Place a zero below the units digit as shown. This is because we will now be multiplying the digit of the top number by the tens digit of the bottom number. Hence, we place a zero in the unit's place. 5. Multiply the unit's digit of the top number by the tens digit of the bottom number. 6. Multiply the tens digit of the top number by the tens digit of the bottom number. 7. This is the second partial product obtained on multiplying the top number by the tens digit of the bottom number. Add the two partial products together to get the final answer of 2,961.